Well, welcome back, all my Minecraftian enemies. Um, this is the September 2015th, 2015th, 2015 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for the month of September. And this theme is the Ocean Temple or the Ocean Monument Assault. As you can see, we've been spawned inside of a mushroom bio. Excuse me, I just had some pizza and apparently I'm gross. But uh, in this biome um, is where we need to spend most of our time while preparing for the assault. Um, there's a single tree way far away at the um, coordinates 1400-ish and um, negative 1050-ish. So as you can see, we're at 300 right now. We're roughly at the right uh, Z coordinate, but we're quite a ways away on the the X, and um, that means we got quite a long trip to go. So I've uh, I've tried this once already, and started over just because I know nothing about mushroom biomes, and so um, I made the big mistake of the learning that um, you can't get trees to grow on this grass. Um, I mean, maybe you can. Maybe I'll watch some of your videos and find out that you can. But uh, what I learned is that I planted them, and then the next morning when the sun came up, um, they turned into this ugly purplish dirt and immediately uprooted. So I think if I want some wood, I need to plant them on that little island um, where the tree is. And uh, you'll see that in a second here. A second, more like half the episode it takes almost half the episode to get there because you can't really run I mean you can run a bit but uh, eventually you start running up your out of your hunger which it just it won't let you run anyway and then you're also at risk of dying so you don't want to do that so I kind of do half and half I walk for the beginning part about as long as I can and stomach it and then I'll uh, run the rest of the way of course if I get to the point where it won't let me to run anymore because I'm so hungry so on the way I'm going to collect just kind of whatever is in the way of uh, mushrooms because I can make um, some bowls for mushroom stew and then it's going to be getting to the, the island getting the tree uh, which is a four block tall tree and hopefully it gives me three or four saplings plant them quickly find some coal and uh, so the trees have light and have a chance to spawn although I was doing some research of how long trees take to grow and they said typically it's about 30 minutes after you plant them so um, it looks like those four blocks of wood is about all I'm gonna have on this first day I'm not sure um, what I can do to be productive once the wood runs out maybe build some sort of dirt hut I don't know but uh yeah hopefully I don't have to spend too long with no wood I got a pretty much an even amount of uh, mushrooms here you need the red and the brown to make your mushroom stew so now mushroom stew is nice because it's kind of easy to make but it's also uh, slightly annoying because each individual bowl of it takes up an inventory slot and so almost unless some situation warrants having to make mushroom stew I almost never use it, except in these circumstances. Alright, we're at 800. What kind of tree is this? I even pay attention. Is this the brown one? No, it's the red one. Alright. So what this uh, place reminds me of is... Uh, I mean, with this ugly dirt, and it looks like it's giving off. So you can kind of see like little 
odiferous, smelly looking things coming off of it. Uh, it reminds me of this uh, uh, HP Lovecraft Call of Cthulhu style story I read once where um, this guy is like uh, shipwrecked or he's floating in the middle of the ocean and he thinks he's going to die. And then he finds this random like unearthed island that just comes up out of nowhere and uh, it's like it was just stuck at the bottom of the sea and it, it just, I don't know, something released its tethers from the bottom of the ocean and it floated up to the top and he ends up on this island and it's gross and mucky and nasty and uh, but this guy at least found some land so he's grateful for it but then he starts having these like nightmares and um, yeah, it turns out it's not this great place, and uh, eventually, I think, if I remember correctly, he has some sort of Cthulhu monster that, uh, or great old one-style monster who's stalking him, and, uh, he's going insane, as happens in all of this HP Love Lovecraft stuff, but... Yeah, that's what that's what mushroom islands remind me of, of these terrible islands that grow great old ones. Now I see some random grass blocks over there. I wonder if I could take dirt and grow it off of there. Um if like that little bit of dirt uh that's green is part of another biome and if I grow uh, or I build some dirt out there I can have some trees grow closer to the island so I don't have to spend very long here because my thought is here like I just need to plant some trees and get them growing and eventually um, work my way off these islands and get over to the main island I mean I guess I can spend some of my time if I don't have wood um, gathering seeds and things and getting up a little farm. Although I don't think food's going to be that big of a deal because um, there's all these mushrooms. Like I'm down to three hunger bars but I'm not worried because as soon as I get there I'm just going to make mushroom stew and suck that puppy down which in real life to me sounds terrible. The only thing I like mushroom anything is like when you know, your random church lady at a potluck will make um, some sort of casserole, and it seems like all casseroles have one of their ingredients is uh, cream of mushroom soup. So that's that's the extent of my experience with mushroom stew. All right, let's get this tree chopped down. We'll make our crafting table, wood bowls. Um, here, I got the taking inventory thing. Lucky me. And I got to be careful that I don't accidentally make too much of anything because this month, or at least to begin with, we're not going to have lots of stuff. So, I'm just going to make a pick. And make sure I have everything with me. Oops. I mean, there's always the slow route where you can just bang things with your hand uh, until you get what you want, because, or as in this case, hit things with a rose and get what you want. But, uh, you can't do that with stone. Or at least, you can't get anything out of it. You can hit the stone forever with your bare fists and get all bloody knuckled but it's not going to yield you anything oh coal that's good so I'll take that and then maybe I can make some torches so my trees have a little better chance to grow so the the wiki page I read up on tree growth said that um, the trees need space they need to be on a dirt block they need um, light level 8 or higher I think is what they said and uh, then about every minute or so they have like a random 
chance of growing and so here's let's see how many we got so far just two hopefully we get one more two no oh I have five wow well that's good so one right here two three four five all right we will make four torches I guess might as well make a f oops might as well make some more because I can't make anything with a single stick okay you guys have your light you jokers have your light 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 all right and your job is to grow 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 we're gonna grow, 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 grow on an adventure. Um, there is the option of fighting skeletons and, oh, I need to actually eat. Of fighting skeletons and getting bone meal. But uh, I would have to use some of my, ooh, yummy. I'd have to use some of my wood to make the sword and then that would push me back on the, that respect so I think I'll just wait it out here we'll put that there for right now um, let's use this pick till it dies might as well get all the coal now I know nothing about ocean temples or ocean monuments other than um, I was doing uh, uh, a Minecraft Hardcore Museum Challenge. Oh, I don't have enough stone yet. And uh, the seed um, for that was uh, right next to an ocean monument. And I would always get zapped with, I think, those guardian things where they'd give you weakness. I, w I wouldn't go near the thing very much, but I'd boat by it and I'd get zapped. Um, and it gives you like weakness or whatever slowness is what it is and what it is is you can't mine anything and um, you can have milk there to counteract it but I think every 30 seconds then it just keeps happening again and again and again you can only carry so many buckets of milk in your inventory so Yeah, I don't know what to do. I think this is, last month I, I recorded all my episodes in a single day because um, the rest of my family was on vacation. Not vacation, they were camping with um, grandma and the cousins. And so I had the house quiet uh, for an evening. And I just basically did it all in the night. I'm not going to do that this time. A, because I don't have time. And B, because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So... This is going to be helpful to watch other people and get some input. But it's nice to at least at the beginning not have to worry about food because of all these mushrooms. So even though that Cthulhu land that the, the mushroom biome is, I'm thankful that it's at least filled with food. Now I can see pretty well because the lighting is set to 100%, which is what Michael tells us to do, but I'll torch myself up every now and then so you guys can actually see what's going on. So I'll just get this coal with the hopes that I find some iron. If I found a decent sized thing of iron, maybe I would, uh... oh, another thing, yeah, if I find enough iron, um, maybe I would go out and go skeleton fighting, but then I realized that one stick I use just for extra torches, um, you can make a sword with just one extra stick. That was stupid. I should have just saved that. I wouldn't have used up really any extra wood. This is log hole. I'll leave this here, but I'm not going to waste my pick just in, in the hopes that I, I don't need it. Let me grab before I get too far up. I have to jump like a crazed man. 
um, this thing. Well, let me make some steps first, and then grab it. I'll hit it with this rose bush until it goes in my inventory. Why can't they just have me be able to pick it up? You know? I mean, is, is that how this works in this reality? If you have to pick up any object, you have to smash it. If you're leaving the house to pick up the car keys off the wall, you just have to smash it with something, and it will pop up floating in the air, and then you can go. I'd hate to think how you'd get a baby out of a crib in this reality. You'd have the Child Protection Agency calling you. Ooh, I hear some rattling bones above me. Well, let me find some iron first. Oops. So at least stuff like gravel I can punch with out using tools. And uh, save my durability. So hopefully you have some plans about how to do this ocean temple assault thing. Otherwise, I think what my um, episodes are going to be is me gearing up and then just dying on the last day. But uh, we'll see. Oh, there we go. Iron. How many do we need? We got three, four, five, six, seven, so eight. I think that's enough for a chest plate. Although I'm tempted to get an iron pick, but where are my? Did I already use my um, stairs? I'm tempted to get an iron pick just because it'll make my wood last longer, but yeah, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I can see if I can sneak out. Oh no. Sneak out and kill a skeleton. see what I have first. Did I leave my crafting table down there? I think I did. No, not right there. There it is. In any other game, you would not go down and get it because you'd have so much wood. Maybe I can attack and kill someone with a crafting table. Just bash them over the head with it. Alright. Let's see here. Make some sticks. Oh, I don't have an, quite enough cobble to... Now I do? To make a furnace? There we go. Put you right there. Where's my iron ore? Let's pop our heads up and see what we can see. There's a zombie. Ooh, a tree. Yes. And a skeleton. And uh, can I mine you? One, two, three. Well, I'm happy. I got one tree. That's great. And I don't know what to do about that skeleton in the water, but at least get some. Oh no. Please don't die on me. Ah. Oh. 
just to punch you to death? Oh, and you're gonna put me into day one. Can I punch a skeleton to death? Can I aim it right so the skeleton kills this guy? You know what? I'm gonna end my episode. I got extra wood. What I can do is make a sword and just kill him later. Alright, thank you for watching. <laughs> That's a weird thing to end on. Kill him later. Um, thank you for watching. I will uh, be back next time. I'll be watching your episodes to get some ideas of how to uh, assault this ocean monument. And I will see you next time.